Welcome to another video. I am the Starman and I am here on Blackpool Promenade. It's very early in the morning, it's uh, 5.30 and I've come here because I want to show you something quite special. If you watched a recent live stream of mine, I talked about the belt of Venus at sunset. Well now, I want to show you the same effect, except this time at sunrise. Yeah, so here I am on Blackpool Promenade. It's a nice, fine morning. Can you see those things over there? They're like lollipops. See how they're straight up? That means there's pretty much no wind. They're not blowing because there's no wind at all. All we've got is the noise of the street sweepers and uh, a few taxis. And here's the famous tower, which is not lit up. Anyway, the sun is due to rise in just over half an hour. And what I want to do is I want to show you the sky opposite the sunrise because the sun will rise behind the tower. So we're going to be looking this way. We're going to be looking for the belt of Venus. Let's see if we can see it, shall we? Check this out, they're raking the beach here. They're raking Blackpool Beach. 5.30 in the morning, making it all nice and flat. In fact, they're picking up all the rubbish. You know, you get quite a lot of rubbish in that. And uh, yeah, there you go. Breaking the beach. I tell you what, there are quite a few people knocking around. Obviously they've been on a night out and they haven't gone the, back to the hotel or back home. <laughs> Some people passed out in doorways. Anyway, I'm now coming up to the comedy carpet, which is in front of the Blackpool Tower. Look at this now. Absolutely amazing. The sky's getting brighter. The sun will be rising fairly soon and I want to tell you all about the belt of Venus just in case you're not sure. Okay check this out, I am now on the Blackpool Comedy Carpet, the famous Blackpool Comedy Carpet here at the foot of the tower, look at this. Amazing and I'm the only one on it at the moment. If you come here during the day you'll be looking to see this empty. Anyway I'll just show you around quickly, we've got the preparing for the illuminations here. And they've got a few uh, things here, interactive things that people can do when the illumination's on. They've got this projection unit here that's going to project uh, stuff onto the tower, animated shows onto the tower. That's going to be good. But anyway, I want to talk to you about the Belt of Venus, if you don't already know. Now, I am expecting the sun to rise in about 25 minutes, and it's going to rise in the east-northeast. So not quite directly east of the tower. It won't rise in the east until we get to the equinox on the 21st of September. So the sun is going to rise pretty much the direction from where I'm pointing the camera now. Can you tell? I'm pointing the camera from the west-southwest. And what I want to do is I want to show you this part of the sky over here opposite the sunrise. Because we will hopefully see the belt of Venus. Now the belt of Venus is a term that goes back to the Greek times. I think it's something to do with the god Aphrodite, the Greek god. Uh, she had a belt that was pink or something like that. Uh, so it's nothing to do with the planet Venus. Not really quite sure how it got its name. But what it is, it is a pink band that you get across the sky opposite where the sun is setting or where the sun is rising and hopefully we will be able to see it pretty soon. Okay, so I'll just try and explain what happens is, so when the sun rises, can you see how the, the sky over there is? Got kind of like a nice kind of blue to it. The sun hasn't risen yet, so there's no light on that sky over there. And what happens is, when the sun starts to rise, not quite above the horizon, above where we are now, we're gonna get a darkness down here. But what will happen 
as the sun gets closer to the horizon we'll start to get a pink band across here can you see a pink band and as the sun gets higher up that pink band will go lower and lower and eventually it will drop below the horizon as the sun rises so we're now looking towards Blackpool Tower in the direction of where the sun is due to rise. I'm just going to show you on the screen now the app that I use to find out which direction the sun is going to be. And you can see where the sun is going to rise there, just north of east. And in about three weeks time, the sun will rise due east. So anyway, what we want to look at is the opposite part of the sky. We do have some clouds here, which is not really ideal. I'd rather have a clearer sky. And what happens is we're still in the Earth's shadow at the moment. So the sun is below the horizon. So all of this here that we're looking at out here is shadow. Yeah, there's no light coming from the sun on the horizon because the sun is below the opposite horizon. So there's no light at all. But when the sun starts to rise, what will happen is we might just get a pink band appearing somewhere up here, somewhere fairly high up, a pink band across the sky. And underneath that pink band, we will see like a grey, greyish blue band underneath that pink band. And, and what will happen is, as the sun rises and gets closer to the horizon, the opposite horizon, the pink band and the grey band, the shadow of the earth, will get lower and lower. Now the pink band is caused by the atmosphere. The sun's shining through the Earth's atmosphere and it creates a pink band. It's caused by Rayleigh scattering. We get like a nice pink band on top of the grey band, which is the Earth's shadow. And hopefully we'll be able to see that pretty soon. Well, we're coming up to about 20 minutes before sunrise. So hopefully we can start to see the effect fairly soon. You can see where that tractor has raked the beach down there. Doesn't that look nice and neat? And as the tide goes out, they'll be able to rake even more. But just look at this now. It's so calm out there. Look at this. I bet you wish you were here, don't you? We are waiting for the sky to turn a nice pink colour on the horizon as the sun rises. So we'll see this amazing belt of Venus effect. I can kind of see a pinkish kind of sky starting to develop just above this cloud here. I'm not sure if you can see it. Can you see? Somewhere up here, I can see a kind of pinky kind of, it's almost like orange, I suppose, uh, colour to it. So this is the very early stages, I'd say. It would be better if there wasn't that cloud out there. It would be a bit easier to see, but uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. We're, we're just about 15 minutes before the sun starts to rise above the horizon so while we're waiting for the sun to rise i just want to tell you about a previous experience i had with the belt of venus up in scotland now the belt of venus is a bit easier to see in the winter they say it's a bit more pronounced now i was up in scotland a few years ago and it was a winter wonderland it was absolutely amazing and i saw probably the best belt of venus i have ever seen in my whole life i was up at um Glencoe and I'm just going to show you some pictures now snow everywhere the sun had gone down and just look at that sky opposite where the sun went down amazing pink sky belt of Venus you can see the greyish blue shadow of the earth there just above those snow topped mountains and the pink band above it it was absolutely spectacular so it is a more pronounced effect in the winter easier to see in the winter okay now i want to tell you about another effect of the belt of venus this is absolutely amazing you won't believe this i was in tenerife a few years ago and if you know tenerife it's got a very big mountain mount tide it's a it's a extinct volcano i'm not sure if it's still active but uh, it's very tall it's about twelve thousand feet above sea level and it's very pronounced it's got a very pronounced uh, peak to it now, I was there when the sun was going down and we were up sort of halfway up the mountain on the road. And as the sun went down, we saw something amazing on the opposite part of the sky. We actually saw the mountain, Mount Tide, projected onto the horizon. Absolutely amazing. And this is what I'm talking about. It's the shadow of the earth. And anything that happens to be 
in the way if it's big such as a big mountain is also going to be projected onto the opposite horizon as part of the shadow so there you go absolutely amazing i'm just showing you the pictures now it's not perfect you know it's a little bit diffuse but you can clearly see on this photograph here the sun is on the opposite horizon to where we're looking and we can actually see the outline of the mountain projected onto the opposite horizon isn't it absolutely amazing looking really good that isn't it anyway we're still waiting for the sun to rise but as the sun does get higher up we can definitely now see a colour on the opposite part of the sky and like I say it would be better if it wasn't for that cloud because that cloud is kind of spoiling the effect a little bit and you can just see this pinkish kind of orangey glow it's like it'd be like a band across the sky if it wasn't for that cloud you'd be able to clearly see a band across the sky but uh, there you go that's the belt of venus check this out we've also got a waning half moon or should i say last quarter moon in the sky the color there the pinkish kind of color that goes right across the horizon it's becoming a little bit more pronounced now you know i've just thought of something so i'm at the foot of blackpool tower and i've just been talking about how the mountain mount tide in tenerife how i saw it projected onto the opposite horizon when the sun went down absolutely amazing and i just wondered would it be possible for blackpool tower the shadow of blackpool tower to be projected onto the horizon well theoretically yes i just don't think it's quite big enough really if it was a if it was a lot bigger then possibly possibly we could see the shadow of the tower projected onto the horizon i mean you can get the shadow of the tower on the beach of course but i just don't think it's quite big enough to stand out on the horizon like that mountain was in tenerife okay now according to the time the sun is literally just on the opposite horizon now and can you see can you see the um, the pinkish orange band there on the opposite part of the sky so annoying that cloud there it would have been so much better if it was clear so we are now around about three or four minutes after sunrise and the sun might just be poking above the, the hill so it might not be clearly above the horizon but just look at that now can you see that pink band has now got lower can you tell that was higher up before that pink band there was up here before and now it's got lower because the sun is rising and as the sun rises the pink band which is caused by the sun shining through the atmosphere is going to get lower and lower and the earth's shadow beneath it we're now 10 minutes after sunrise and the sun is still very low down on the opposite horizon we can't see it i think it might be up behind a bit of cloud as well so we can't actually see any sunlight at the moment but you might just be able to tell now that that pink band now is literally just above the horizon and the shadow effect has almost disappeared not quite okay i'll just show you the tower so the sun is now well above the horizon we can't see it of course because the tower's in the way <laughs> but i think also it's behind some cloud as well so not the most perfect of conditions and as we look towards the opposite horizon now it's now pretty much half past six the sun rose at quarter past we can still see that pink sky on the horizon we can still see it it's not disappeared yet like i say even when the sun comes up whenever the sun gets very low down you start to see that pink develop in the opposite part of the sky and that's what we're seeing now so, well that cloud has cleared quite look how it's cleared now amazing and you can clearly see now hopefully that kind of pinkish orangey band just sitting on the horizon now it's literally about to disappear and it'll be replaced by a blue sky so there you go that was a belt of venus effect over the irish sea here from blackpool at sunrise have you ever seen it yourself and uh, if you haven't have a look out for it at sunrise or 
at sunset it's probably easier at sunset because most of us are around at sunset not that many of us are up at sunrise to see it and it's also better if you've got a clear perfectly clear sky we didn't quite get a perfectly clear sky today but hopefully i've been able to explain it to you and what about that scotland up in scotland unbelievable amazing up in scotland there and like i say in the winter it's a lot clearer in the winter and also the effect of the belt of venus in tenerife projecting the mountain onto the opposite horizon wasn't that absolutely amazing anyway i hope you've learned something and look out for the belt of venus yourself i hope you like the video if you do hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and i will see you again next time